I'm sure many of you have noticed that governments around the world working with big tech have been on a campaign to censor and suppress the views, messages, and opinions of those against the evil globalist agenda. Mainly those who have a significant following and reach. We have all seen the voices of well-known activists against tyranny suppressed. We've seen them deplatformed time and time again. We have seen such people defamed, defunded, and discredited so that our controllers can continue to lie, hide the truth, and move along with their agenda, unfettered. Now, what if I told you that censoring and suppressing the published content of these people who want to expose the truth is not enough for them? That they actually want to hurt the people who follow them or listen to their messages. They want to damage the people who tune into their content. Now, what if I told you that there is technology that exists that knows through artificial intelligence what type of content you are watching, whether that is on a smartphone or mobile device or TV monitor. And when you watch that content that they don't want you to watch, the device emits high doses of microwave radiation. Yeah, I know what that sounds like. So you are probably thinking, well, that is absolutely diabolical, and at the same time, very likely. It is called nervous system manipulation by electromagnetic fields from monitors. It is an old technology that is very real, and it may be coming to a monitor near you. So I want you to listen to an abstract that comes from a U.S. patent dated 2001. Nervous system manipulation by electromagnetic fields from monitors. Physiological effects have been observed in a human subject in response to stimulation of the skin with weak electromagnetic fields that are pulsed with certain frequencies near a half a hertz or 2.4 hertz such as to excite a sensory resonance many computer monitors and TV tubes when displaying pulsed images emit pulsed electromagnetic fields of sufficient amplitudes to cause such excitation it is therefore possible to manipulate the nervous system of a subject by pulsing images displayed on a nearby computer monitor or TV set. For the latter, the image pulsing may be embedded in the program material, or it may be overlaid by modulating a video stream, either as an RF signal, radio frequency, or as a video signal. The image displayed on a computer monitor may be pulsed effectively by a simple computer program. For certain monitors, pulsed electromagnetic fields capable of exciting sensory resonances in nearby subjects may be generated even as the displayed images are pulsed with subliminal intensity. Okay? So, now later, in the summary of this patent, it reads something very telling. Listen. Certain monitors can emit electromagnetic field pulses that excite a sensory resonance in a nearby subject. Through image pulses 
that are so weak as to be subliminal. This is unfortunate since it opens a way for mischievous application of the invention, whereby people are exposed unknowingly to manipulation of their nervous systems for someone else's purposes. Such application would be unethical and is, of course, not advocated. It is mentioned here in order to alert the public to the possibility of covert abuse that may occur while being online or while watching TV, a video, or a DVD. Now, to answer the question to whether this would be legal for big tech to use on us or not, it doesn't really matter because big tech seems to be able to do whatever they want to do until enough people stand up and say, hey, you can't do that. And that's when they want to get the law involved, right? Or at least the appearance of it. So look, I'm not going to get into all of the technical aspects of this, like radiation, EMFs, and all that. You know, micro Teslas and the radiation spectrum. I just want to focus on the invention and the possibilities that exist so that we are aware of what they can, could, or even are doing. Now, if you read through the patent of this invention by Hendrikus G. Luce, it reads almost like a manual from a science fiction novel, and it is quite alarming considering how old this particular patent is. So you can read through the patent if you would like, as I am going to just give you the short, simple version of what is written there. The way it's written, it's almost like instructions on how to use this technology yourself, or at least experiment with it. Although you do need to be a bit tech savvy to replicate the experiments. So first of all, this particular technology is designed to stimulate and manipulate the nervous system. Not a person's behavior, although through the nervous system you can induce physiological effects that can then affect someone's mood or behavior. And this is achieved by pulsing a certain frequency. We're talking about very weak electric fields, by the way, as little as a half a hertz. Typically, this is done in the sensory resonance frequency range, which is anywhere from a half a hertz to 15 hertz. 2.4 hertz seems to be the magic number. With this, you can trigger such side effects according to the patent as ptosis of the eyelids, which is like a droopy eyelid or fluttery eyelid. Sometimes you can get a mild case of that if you haven't gotten enough sleep. It can induce relaxation, drowsiness, the feeling of pressure at a certain spot on the lower edge of the brow, Seeing moving patterns of dark purple or greenish yellow with the eyes closed. A tonic smile. A tense feeling in the stomach. Sudden loose stool. And sexual excitement. Depending on the precise frequency used and the skin area to which the field is applied. So this type of stimulation can be done with pulsed electric fields pulsed magnetic fields, small thermal pulses or heat pulses applied to the skin, and subliminal acoustic pulses. And see, all of those are covered or possible with really any monitor, mobile or portable device, or Fitbit-like device or watch that's wrapped around your wrist, right? For example, the way it works is, if you are using an image or video, you can pulse the intensity of the light that the image is emitting. It needs to be done by a computer program for the precision of timing. But if you can pulse the intensity of light, low to high, low to high, you can create a frequency pattern that affects the body. You can even record this image pulsing as an overlay on a live stream or it can be pre-recorded into the video itself. 
And this can all be done remotely over the internet. If they want to affect someone's content on a certain platform, all they have to do is place an overlay over that video content. Or they could place an audio overlay over something you're listening to. You know, with this technology, they can overlay an image pulse on top of something like a truth exposed broadcast and make it so that your ability to learn information is decreased while you're watching it. There was a video I watched where one person claimed that they were using this technology to emit higher frequencies of EMFs or RFs on videos that the government or big tech doesn't want you watching. And other videos would emit normal amounts of EMF radiation. So in other words, watching conspiracy theorists or the like could mean you are exposed to more radiation than if you were to watch something like mainstream news. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. It's too crazy to make up. You see? The content filtering has already begun. And it is going to continue to get harder and harder to produce content discussing the true nature of things and the true evil agendas behind people with all the power. I think before we weren't really certain if they would be able to control any of us through these multimedia devices and smartphones. But we have seen what they have been able to do with just advertisements alone. How on point and how unbeat they are with the information we want to search for or gain access to. They have the ability to know every action you take with that phone, where you are, where you are going. And now with the AI systems, they can make pretty strong predictions on what you will do in the future. They can track and record your biometrics through these Fitbit devices and your smartphones. And now with all these devices in place, and almost everyone has one or all of these devices, they have the ability to manipulate your nervous system, change your mood, change your brain functions, and ultimately your behaviors and actions, all remotely through your device. And just like you can be unaware of the effects of these devices on your levels of dopamine, as described in the previous video, this technology can be used subliminally to affect us. And you could find yourself buying something or watching something or doing something that you probably wouldn't have done if it wasn't for this technology at work. And with it being covert, how would you detect or avoid it? There is more to come, so stay tuned. I just wanted to make you guys aware of what is out there among other things. And I will get to those other technologies and those agendas very soon. I will leave the link below for the patent to this so you can take a look for yourselves. Very informative. Be sure to visit woodwardentertainment.com and the Woodward Entertainment Store. You can follow me on Instagram at J-A-E Woodward. Until next time, take a closer look at this patent and what this could mean for all of us. And as always, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.